Okay, so today we want to take a look at first order systems. And the first system we like to examine is going to be called a separable ODE. And a separable ODE is of the form y prime equals some function in y times some other uh, arbitrary function in x. And if we're able to write our first order system as this product, then we're guaranteed to have a separable ODE. So an example of this might look like y prime equals, let's just say, 3x times, let's just say, 4y or 12xy. Well, this system is clearly separable. And if I'd like, I'd go through the process that we learned in class to solve a separable ODE. First, write our y prime in Leibniz form. So I'd write dy by dx equals 12xy. Then I separate. So I want to bring all the y's to the left-hand side. I get dy over y equals 12x dx. The next step is to integrate. And if I integrate dy over y, I get the natural log of the magnitude of y on the right-hand side, a 12x squared over 2. And I'll lump the constant from the left-hand side over to the right-hand side and get this arbitrary constant c. Now, if I have some initial condition, let's just impose, let's say, y of 0 is equal to 2. It's arbitrary. So my x naught we'll say it's zero, my y naught is zero, I mean it's two. So here, we want a solution that's gonna pass through the point zero, two, okay? So if I apply my initial condition, I should be able to solve for c. If I plug in x is zero, this term goes away and I end up with the natural log of two is equal to my constant. If I collect everything, I get the natural log of the magnitude of y is 6x squared plus ln2. And now I want an explicit solution, y of x. And so I have to resolve the absolute value and the natural log. Well, to resolve the absolute value, I always, 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 always look to the initial condition. And since my initial condition is positive, I have a positive y near 0, 2, nothing negative. And existence of uniqueness guarantees that if I have a solution, it must be unique. So what do I do? Well, I keep only the positive value ln y. Remember, I cannot feed a negative value into the natural log. And so I get ln of y is 6x squared plus ln 2. And if I solve for y, I exponentiate, and I get my model y of x is equal to e to the 6x squared plus ln 2. And if we recall from algebra, e to the alpha plus beta is the same as e to the alpha times e to the beta. So I'll use this law of exponents to write my model as y of x equals 2e to the 6x squared. And now, with this model, I'm able to predict behavior. For instance, if this were a time, and this is a pressure, I could look at how pressure changes with time, maybe how temperature changes with time. But any change in x, I could get a corresponding value of y, and I could also predict how long it might take for, say, the temperature to rise to a certain value. So if I have a certain x, I can give you a value of y, and if I give you a value of y, you should be able to solve for x and give me a value of x.